The Directed Panspermia Hypothesis The search for life beyond our planet has been a long-standing fascination for humanity. Scientists have been studying the possibility of extraterrestrial life for centuries, and as technology advances, so does our ability to search for it. One idea that has gained traction in recent years is the directed panspermia hypothesis, which suggests that life on Earth may have been intentionally seeded by an alien civilization. In this video, we will explore the directed panspermia hypothesis in detail, discussing its origins, evidence in support of it, criticisms, and its implications for our understanding of the universe. Origins of the Directed Panspermia Hypothesis The idea of panspermia, the notion that life exists throughout the universe and can be transferred between celestial bodies, has been around for centuries. However, the concept of directed panspermia was first proposed in the 1970s by the famous astronomer and astrophysicist, Carl Sagan. Sagan and his colleague, the molecular biologist Francis Crick, suggested that life on Earth may have been intentionally seeded by an extraterrestrial civilization. They proposed that the civilization would have sent spores containing genetic material to Earth, which would then have evolved into the complex life forms we see today. Evidence in support of the directed panspermia hypothesis. While the directed panspermia hypothesis remains controversial, there are some pieces of evidence that support it. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence is the discovery of extremophiles, organisms that can survive in extreme environments such as hot springs, deep sea vents, and polar ice caps. These organisms suggest that life may be able to survive and thrive in conditions that were previously thought to be inhospitable. This leads to the question of how life could have originated on Earth, and whether it may have been seeded from elsewhere. Another piece of evidence in support of directed panspermia is the discovery of complex organic molecules in space. These molecules, including amino acids and nucleotides, are the building blocks of life as we know it. The fact that they exist in space suggests that life may not be unique to Earth and may have originated elsewhere in the universe. Criticisms of the Directed Panspermia Hypothesis Despite the evidence in support of directed panspermia, the hypothesis has been met with significant criticism from the scientific community. One of the main criticisms is that there is no direct evidence to support the idea that an extraterrestrial civilization seeded life on Earth. While the discovery of extremophiles and organic molecules in space are suggestive, they do not provide conclusive evidence of directed panspermia. Another criticism of directed panspermia is that it does not explain the origin of life itself. While the hypothesis suggests that life may have originated elsewhere and been brought to Earth, it does not explain how life originally arose. This leaves open the possibility that life on Earth may have arisen through natural processes, rather than being seeded from elsewhere. Implications of the Directed Panspermia Hypothesis If the Directed Panspermia Hypothesis were proven to be true, it would have significant implications for our understanding of the universe. It would suggest that life is not unique to Earth, and that it may exist throughout the universe. It would also suggest that the universe may be teeming with intelligent civilizations, some of which may be capable of interstellar travel. Overall, the directed panspermia hypothesis remains a controversial topic in the scientific community. While there is some evidence to support the idea that life may have been intentionally seeded on Earth, there is no conclusive evidence to prove it. Nonetheless, the hypothesis raises fascinating questions about the origins of life, the possibility of extraterrestrial civilizations, and our place in the universe. As our understanding of the universe continues to advance, it is clear that the search for life beyond Earth will continue to be an exciting and active area of scientific research. While the directed panspermia hypothesis is just one of many theories that attempt to explain the origins of life, it serves as a reminder of the potential for life to exist beyond our planet and the importance of continuing to explore and study the universe. As we continue to search for evidence of extraterrestrial life, we may eventually discover whether or not the directed panspermia hypothesis is true, and what it could mean for our understanding of life in the universe. Thanks for watching.